Hi, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to create a multiband link using Aria Design. Once you are inside your project, you can go to the link you want to create um, the multiband project. Uh, multiband profiles have not uh, created yet so uh, you'll have to create your own in order to create your multiband uh, equipment uh, template you have to go to advanced templates and <coughs> have to select uh, the ACM multiband option if you if you're creating an app ACM uh, template or a fix multiband template. So let's create a ACM multiband uh, template. Uh, once we have selected this, we will see the option of WTM XX. Uh, you have to select internal power option standard. You can select uh, whatever channel size you want. Let's select uh, uh, 500 megahertz or 2000 megahertz uh, and then the um, e-band frequency so here we can see that uh, this is a multiband template as we have the 18 gigahertz uh, uh, band primary and secondary the uh, e-band we can search the database and we can see equipment profiles for both the 18 gigahertz in the 80 gigahertz uh, radio. So we can save this template and we can go back to our main uh, basic tab. You have to uncheck the distance uh, filter and we can look for the template we just have created. In this case is this one. Then uh, you'll have the option of uh, selecting a multiband antenna. In that case, uh, basically, it will be just two options: one foot and uh, two foot. You also have the option of selecting uh, uh, two different antennas. If you have two different antennas, one for microwave and another for e-band, so you can select different sizes for those antennas. Let's just stick with the multiband antenna. Uh, you can hit the calculate button. And we can see the results for both um, microwave and E-band combined. So uh, we have the regular columns of modulation, receive signal, capacity, availability, frequency. There's the new, this new column called frequency band that will explain uh, what results you're seeing here. So uh, let's say up to 4096 is only 18 gigahertz. Then uh, you have a combination of E-band and microwave. So it's going to the radio is going to stay at the highest possible modulation and uh, microwave side and it's going to combine the capacity of the E-band plus microwave and you'll get the combined capacity and combined availability of both radios. Once you have your result you can print a report the report will show the combined availability for both radios and you can generate a PDF report for this um, and you can see here the combined uh, link budget so in the first page we'll have the link budget for the uh, base modulation in this case it was a list select QPSK so I'll show only for that and the details and then on the second page it will show the summary page with the combined microwave and E-band results um, <coughs> for microwave and E-band and at the bottom will show 
the top profile. So th this video uh, just showed how to create a radio template for multiband and how to perform a calculation. Thank you.